What's up everybody D-Man back welcome to a brand new video and we're going to be doing my very first initial reactions to Godzilla X Kong the new empire I'm going to do this mini review just to get my thoughts out there on the movie I'll do a bigger first impressions review tomorrow that's a little more structured but still kind of a fresh reaction I actually recorded that first but I just wanted to get something really small and quick out there for you guys so that you could get my thoughts on the movie right away and then we'll jump into the bigger discussions tomorrow <laughs> So if you don't already know, I was in the ER a little bit ago, like a couple days ago, and so my voice is a little, it's a little gone, so I'm sorry about that, but I'm doing my best here. I just got out of Godzilla X Kong The New Empire, which is the newest MonsterVerse movie, and I just wanted to say I had a really good time with it. I found it to be very enjoyable. Godzilla X Kong The New Empire is the newest MonsterVerse movie and directly follows up on the last one, Godzilla vs. Kong. This takes place about five years later, and it picks up the story generally where we left off. Kong is now the king of the Hollow Earth, exploring his new domain and his new world and Godzilla is the king of the monsters, keeping the surface world in check from giant unstoppable threats. The movie doesn't always do the greatest job at world building or helping fill the gaps from one film to the next. Sometimes it feels like you're just kind of picking up randomly and they're like, yep, you got it. But on the whole, the movie does a very good job of just setting you into the new status quo with Godzilla doing his duties as the king of the monsters and Kong just kind of being a sad, lonely dude. Kong wants to experience a meaningful connection with somebody like himself and so every day he goes out in search of another member of his species, hoping that somewhere in the Hollow Earth he'll find his family. Then he comes across the little ape called Suko, and his world expands in a huge way as he enters the new domain of the Scar King, a threat that has to unite both Godzilla and Kong together in order to stop. Godzilla X Kong The New Empire is a wonderfully heartwarming time. It's a purely wholesome, feel-good movie that leaves you with a childlike sense of wonder and awe and harkens back to the days of Shinichi Sekizawa and growing up on Godzilla VHS tapes you found at the stores, or if that's a little too old school for you. It reminded me of what it was like growing up watching Godzilla compilations on YouTube and experiencing the fight scenes for the first time and really stepping back into my inner childhood with Godzilla. And that's exactly what the movie is setting out to do. This is definitely a family movie with a clear understanding that this is going to be a movie kids are going to enjoy. Now just to be clear, kids do get traumatized a little bit in this movie as one kid in my theater freaked out screaming at one of the scenes because <laughs> something not so great happens to a giant monster dog and it was pretty funny. <laughs> this is nothing more intense than any of the other Godzilla movies in fact, even when the movie gets a little bloody and gory, it's like green blood, unlike back in the Showa days when Angiers would be spurting red blood all over the camera. This was absolutely a throwback to a very particular era in Godzilla's filmography, a time when things were a lot more simple. And while I don't want to say the story or the emotion of the movie doesn't matter here, the story definitely takes a backseat to the spectacle. This movie is trying to be entertaining first and foremost, and it pulls it off pretty well. That's not to say that the characters don't add anything to this movie, in fact, I think there are wonderful performances from both Trapper and Bernie, who I personally personally think steal the show, in a way almost sidelining Godzilla and Kong themselves and that I found both of those characters to be so entertaining that I wanted to spend more time with them than we got to. But this is a movie where the monsters come first and foremost, and for the most part I think they really pull it off. This movie treats Kong in a way that I have always wanted to see him treated, and it doesn't go as far as I would have liked, but it's got the idea, it's got the right potential there. In fact, Kong almost goes as far as to become a superhero in this movie, he just never makes the final leap to get there, which I thought was really awesome. As for Godzilla, Godzilla's got a lot of really interesting things to do, I just don't think Godzilla does them in a very interesting way. Godzilla's kind of one note in this movie, pulling out the same move over and over and over again, and it got a little old for me. But Kong is what kept me engaged, and I did appreciate when Godzilla was on screen, when he was doing his thing. But the biggest thing that I found was the most exciting in this movie was Scar King, a threat that I've always wanted to see Kong go up against. Kong's never had a King Ghidorah of his own, and Scar King got to be that for one movie, and it was just great. Scar King had a really interesting personality, and so that was really interesting to see his dynamic with Kong. And then a big standout for me was Suko, who I really didn't expect to be as engaging or likable as he was. I really fell for Suko. I thought he was just such a cute little guy. And that's kind of how I described this whole movie. I didn't think it would be as charming as it was, but when I watched it, I found it to truly be just a charming time. It reminded me of a simpler time when I was younger, and reminded me of what it was like to watch these films growing up, and I really appreciate it for that. I think Godzilla X Kong The New Empire in a way represents the peak of the Shinichi Sekizawa Jr. 
Shin Fukuda era of Godzilla. And that's to say that while those movies aren't my favorite Godzilla movies, with the exception of some, like Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, they have a lot of value, and this movie definitely has a lot of value. It takes some big swings that we've never seen with either Godzilla or Kong before, and does things with the characters that I could have never imagined years ago. This movie pushes the boundaries for what Godzilla and Kong can be, and what they should be, and I really appreciate that. I think it will inform generations of Godzilla films to come, and I definitely think it'll open the doors for Kong to move in big, bold new directions moving forward. Overall, while I'm not going to rate Godzilla X Kong the No Empire just yet, I want to get a couple more watches under my belt, I do want to say I had a pretty good time with it, and while it's definitely not the top of my MonsterVerse list, I did still really enjoy it, and I think I might like it a lot more on some rewatches. Have you seen Godzilla X Kong the No Empire? If so, leave your spoiler-free thoughts down below and let me know what you thought of it. Did you have a good time with it? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I want to give a huge thank you to my patrons over on Patreon. If you want to check out the Patreon, you can use the link in the description below, where you can get early access to content, access to the Discord community, and more. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to continue these discussions over the next couple days. I really hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys next time for the next one. D-Man, out.